Alrighty, so this is my experiment to heat up an aircraft engine on the ramp when it's cold outside. I've got this non-hose portable butane cooker, so it takes an 8 ounce bottle just in the side and um, it will run at 7,600 and something butane uh, BTUs per hour. That's on the high heat, but I'm finding that I probably need to run it on the low heat. Which is okay, I'm only trying to get the engine up to at least 40 degrees all the way around, probably within one hour. Um, all the math that I've been able to do says that I should be able to do that in the engine compartment, especially if I have a blanket and some insulation. So I've got my multimeter that allows me to check the temperature using a thermocouple. And let me move that little piece of tape. And so here's the burner. It's a little burner that my mom gave me once and she's like, I don't use this thing. It's Japanese or something like that. Um, it's got this little door that you can open, stick the butane in there, close it up, and lock it in place like that. And then all you do is just turn it on. So that's the high heat and there's the low heat. And I think what I'll probably just end up doing is having it always on the low heat. Um, technically, you could get somewhere in between, but uh, I'll show you what I built. So this is eight and a quarter from over here all the way over to here. Eight and a quarter inches is perfectly square. So I took a 12 inch square piece of uh, sheet metal, and you can see that I've done some testing here. Um, but I've just got some rivets and bent everything around, drew it out, so, and then cut out some uh, air vents on two of the sides to allow some air draw to come up through. This also um, opens up and allows air to come in up and around the burner. But, uh, got that. And so I used a three inch hole saw to cut in here. And then to get my four inches, I just cut a whole bunch of tabs with my uh, tin snips. And that's all that it uses to hold this dryer vent onto the circle too. I've got my thermocouple just kind of pointed in here. So I can put it out there in the uh, airstream to get the temperature. And so you can see that there's one spot where it does cook a little high. That happens to be over here on this end when I was testing it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, you know, some rivets, everything to hold it. I think it turned out pretty nice. So if we take this thing and put it up on top here, what I like to do is try to have these air intakes on the sides here. I'm also thinking that I'll probably end up maybe putting some holes in two sides here and running some bungees down so I can bungee tie the whole thing to the uh, cook stove. So it's just a little heat manifold and you can see that it's just lined up right over the burner there. And so if I take my little piece of tape and get the uh, thermocouple kind of set in the middle and then I just tape that there just so it stays in the middle where I want it to be. You can possibly see that thermocouple sitting in there. Then uh, I turn on the temperature gauge. It is 26 centigrade, so I'll change it to Fahrenheit. 78 is what it's saying here in the house. I did test this thing. I actually put the thermocouple under my tongue and it read 98, which I guess is good. So means must mean that I'm a human being, I suppose. So we've got the uh, switch down and the bottle's in. So all we do is just turn it on and you can see that it starts up. Starts running and turn it to low. And we've got it on low and the uh, temperature's coming down. When I started it on high it went up about 800 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So now it's showing uh, 670 Fahrenheit for my little thermocouple right there and that is some
good heat there <laughs> coming out of that thing. Anyways, um, I think it'll work. Got uh, the air intakes here. And that should be plenty of heat coming out of this thing. Going all the way up into the engine to hopefully heat up a 200 pound engine or so. About 30 degrees Fahrenheit. All the way around. Should be able to do it. So thanks for watching.